Welcome back brothers and sisters of archery to a quick sneak preview of another full-fledged review of this small box. You see that how small this box is and there's a full-fledged bow in it. You might not believe that but I'm going to show you now. Obviously, some of you, when I posted it on Facebook, had it, of course, right? It's an Abaini bow. Some see it already on the packaging. Others were guessing roughly. Korean, mini bow, whatever. Nothing of this kind. It's a Navalny. Yes, can you please stay here? Not for My table is tilted. So, I only want to see this bow now. Doesn't help, right? Even if there is no time for a full review, review. So, the black stuff out of the way. One, two, three. No, come on. Four, five, six. So, and it is a Xerxes Mini. I look as this is what we get here. Da -da -da. Of course you get first. Always as usual a nice string. Ah. Sleeve string. And then this is the whole bow. Look at this, how teeny tiny this bow is. <laughs> wow, look at this. I think this is the shortest full-size bow which does 28 inch max draw. This is the only thing I know. Uh, there is still no information on the website whether what the price or what have you. The normal Xerxes is 630 euros plus whatever you want to have. Then you know the, the, the fake horn belly or whatever. It's 43 pounds with 28. Holy moly. Pocket. Rocket. Look at this nice girl. Isn't it just gorgeous? Gorgeous. But before we string, we got an envelope. Let's see what's yeah, I will clean up later. I only want to clean this bone. Shortest arrow I have are 30 inches. We'll see when we go from this. So as usual, when you have when you get birch bark, you get always a little glue with it because it can happen that the birch bark, especially with these heavy curves, comes off you a little bit. Then you just glue it back, no problem. And here we have it: the Xerxes Mini, 43 pounds at 28 inches, max 28, no minimum grain per pound. That means I will pack out my 1,000 grain arrows then and shoot them too and see what we can do with this bow. Awesome. So, thank you very much, Lukas. Now, let's string this short bow. Huh? Normal step through. <laughs> Almost. Impossible. So, the knocks are a bit Korean-like, but as we know it from the big circuses, I can pull <laughs> the link in the description. I mean, look at this. That's me, and that's the bow. <laughs> Holy. Jesus. Let's see, 43 pounds and 28. Yeah, doesn't want to go any further. <sighs> but it's fine. He said 28, and usually I'm not excited about bows who only do 28 inches, but look at this one. And still, look at the brace height, seven inches. <laughs> Let's shoot. I would say this is a definition of pocket rocket. <laughs> Has two. Uh, Reskin arrow passes on both sides. Handle is still big enough. <laughs> Holy crap. So these arrows are 360 grain, 43 pounds. So you know what the bow is doing. Let's see. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's see again. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Fuck 
Chris Pick there. I mean, look at that. Look, look at that. Why do, do I need to go that you see this bow in his whole glory? <laughs> Ui, do I? Might have killed one of my Sungurus now. Holy cow, this thing is a rocket and it's fast. And center shot. <laughs> Katra built in. Of course, only 28 inches, so it's a little. But, oh, strong. Look at, look at this pretty bow. Look at this bow. Wow, you see, this is like. <laughs> this is all it is to it. Look at this. That's a bow. That's not a knife. That's a knife. No, that's a bow. Look at this. Pretty, pretty bow. And of course, awesomeness in build quality. So what you have is a, so to say, reflex deflex bow with a semi-static recurve. So it's not a sear and it's not a normal recurve. So he has here a reinforced layer that the sear has still a little less flex, let's say, than the rest of the limb. So, but it's still applying pressure, but it's still flexing. So look at, look at the curve again. Where do we need to go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Look, one more time. With the Sungurus, they are 30 inches, 360 grain. And you feel nothing in the hand with these arrows. So there is no, but that one, there's no mess, which could vibrate or something or oscillate. Even the string is so short. Holy moly. But now I try one. These are the 1000 spine uh, Nijora bark. 1000 in 29 inches. I try one and see what it <laughs> looks color wise directly matching. See what it does. It <laughs> goes a little to the left, so maybe they're a little underspined. But that means only Katra. Goes to the left. Shit. I think I broke my arrow. <laughs> So don't overdo it with a cutter with this small. It's not the most forgiving bow, but it's so short. So every small mistake you make, you will see in the flight of the aeropod. <laughs> Challenge accepted, Lucas. So when weight and spine wise, I need to find something between the Sungur and the thousand grand. They're a little too, too underspined, but you can find an anchor point somewhere in your face. Okay, look at this, and then you get there. So, lightweight ones, and I have two left. Broke one. Missed the target. Ah, they go to the left. Yeah, it's not. It's a little unpredictable with thousand spine. You do a little torque. Torque. Let's talk about torque. Because Katra is a little tricky with this bow. So, you really need to practice. But let's see what just a little torque would do, because this bow is so short. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Heavy one first. Yo, nice height. So now the side a little. So a little torque. Don't overdo it. Same height, a little to the left. Ah, but yeah, a little. <sighs> let's add a Turkish forward cut, huh? shall we? Yep. So let's just do, hold the ball upright, and do a Turkish style. Yeah. Oh, this saw this arrow flexing. You need to put a little side cut on it. Oh, yeah, look. When you release with the bow hand, my, the participants of my course will know what I mean. <laughs> ah, no, not with this one. Try again. Ah, so a thousand spine, they go to the... I thought it's fun. I expected it to be fun, but I didn't think that it's so much fun. So 28 inches thumb release is from today on officially completely fine by me. Look, I am like, 
here, have an anchor point, that's fine by me here, kind of like, so you find some, some beard, moustache, whatever anchor. <laughs> I only shoot now the heavier ones because a thousand spine are a little, a little too underspined, so I need to find arrows just in between. Now look at this. So. Oui. Overcompensating. This, this is, this is a 360 grain. They're a little too stiff, they're 400 spine. Ah, and the first, this bow is a rocket. I thought, on the, oh, look at this, I thought on this distance the arrows might drop already. They don't. Jesus Christ. So now we take some starter set wood arrows. They are spined, I think 30 pounds or something, maybe a little. Now we see. We shoot one and then we see. Heavy. Oh, you see, slowly, but we're getting there. Oh, yeah, but they're a little too flexible. But, yeah. And the ones I usually shoot from Spurry Archery, they only way too long. They are 300 grain and 600 spine, I think. Yeah, flight more straight. Let's see. Yep, now we have it, see? 600 spine. Maybe even 700. Shorter, I need 28 inch arrows now. I need, I must have 28 inch arrows now. It doesn't help. This one is just nothing short but amazing. Of course, I don't know how much it will be, but I guess it will roughly be the same price as the big success. You have only a little less material, but I think the, the workmanship might be a little more. I don't know, but just ask Lukas. He didn't want to give me his prototype, but this one is now the final version and this bow is straight. This bow, nothing. And here a little, so it's flexing nicely but it's torque resistant enough for a short bow. Holy cow, I love this bow. And just believe me, you don't want to put this bow down. For me, a little less poundage would be nice too, but I think this is just 40, 43 pounds. It's just, look at this, boom, center. So you, a few shots and you know what this bow is doing. And I think 600 spine is just fine. It was a bad release. Wow, <laughs> get one. So I really need to see now which arrows I take for this one. I need to get some. This is an awesome bow. <laughs> no words. Lukas, thank you so much for sending this bow to me. I did not expect that I have so much fun. I thought, yeah, okay, do a review and we'll never shoot this one again. But holy moly, just what I can say. Awesome. So guys, you should check it out. The Xerxes Mini. And it looks, because it's so short and out of proportion, it looks just gorgeous. Weighs nothing. And you can shoot, I need to find the most lightweight arrows with 700 spine. Maybe I, turn, I need to experiment a little. And then I get back and do another review of this bow. This bow deserves more and I will take him to the parkour. I will suffer and I will struggle because this bow needs practice. <sighs> Lukas, thank you very much. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.